Hello, Mr. Kaczynski with you. We're going to work on surface area of cones in this video, part of section T in IXL's 8th grade math. Just three examples for you. I think that'll get the job across, but um, not to say that it's not difficulties in doing these problems. Surface area of a cone. Here's our formula. We're going to do and find the area of the base, which is always going to be a circle. And to that, we're going to add what we call the lateral surface area, which is everything else. So if we took this piece and kind of unwrapped it, detached it from the base, what would its area be? So since our base is always a circle, we can just use pi r squared there. And the lateral surface area has its own formula too which is pi times radius times slant height, where the slant height is this piece right here. So here we go, it's a pretty simple formula really, it's just plugging values in 3.14 for pi, the radius is three. Again, 3.14 for pi, the radius is three, and the slant height is 10. As opposed to the height, which is straight up and down right here, which, you know, they could give us that and make us do the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the slant height, but I didn't see that anywhere in this skill. So here we go. Let's punch this into the calculator. 3.14 times 3 squared, or 9, plus 3.14 times 3 times 10, or times 30, I guess would have been a faster way to type that in. 122.46 and that is measured in centimeters squared or square centimeters. So just got to identify the necessary measurements and go from there. All right, let's do it again. Surface area equals pi r squared, that would be the area of the base, plus pi r s, that is our lateral surface area every time. So for the area of the base, 3.14 times the radius is 4 here. It's half of the diameter, so times 4 squared, plus the lateral surface area, 3.14 times that 4 times the slant height, which is 9. Again, just punch this straight into our scientific calculator, desmos.com. It's got a great one that you can use. Oops. Let's start over here. 3.14 times 16. That's 4 squared. Plus 3.14 times 36. That's 4 times 9, right? We can just cut some corners. And we get 163.28. And that is feet squared. And one more, this one's a little bit different because we have to work backwards. We're given the surface area and we need to figure out the slant height. All right, but again, it's gonna be pi r squared plus the lateral surface area, pi r s. And the only thing we're not given is s, this distance right here. All right. There's our surface area, 361.1, and that equals 3.14 times 5 squared, radius is 5, plus 3.14 times 5 times s. So this is the equation we need to solve to figure out that missing slant height. Let's grab the calculator and do 3.14 times 5 squared, or 25 first. That's 78.5. So the area of our base is 78.5. And then we'll simplify this a little bit over here. Let's do 3.14 times 5. That's 15.7. So 15.7s. 
two steps away from having this equation solved, we need to take our surface area, 361.1, and subtract the area of the base, the 78.5. That gives us 282.6. So 282.6, that's our lateral surface area. And if we just divide that by 15.7, take our previous answer, divide it by 15.7, That'll give us our slant height, which is 18. So our slant height is 18 millimeters. A little bit more work there where we had to work backwards, solve a two-step equation, and do some simplifying early as well. But they're all pretty much the same at that point, just different numbers. So surface area of cones, let me know how it goes in the comments. Good luck.